hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today so if you hear my voice breaking up during this video please forgive me i have a cold uh, actually i think it's the flu and i'm trying to get by it um, i have a couple of days more left for it to go away yeah they say it takes about about five days or something anyhow i still wanted to make this video and bring it to you guys so forgive me if it's going to be breaking up during the period but well, my voice is going to be in and out so today i am taking you to border market in the streets of georgetown actually and yeah well it's in the heart of georgetown <laughs> and uh i'm walking through border market here and border market is it's a bit big huh so i'm coming from north roadside and border market borders on the north and south of rob and regent streets and on the east and west by orange walk and border street so i'm coming from north road and i'm going to just walk this piece so you guys can see what's happening at uh, border market this is the outside of the market and I'm going to head straight to the Guyana shop and that is right in the corners of Rob and Regent Street and there it's where the Guyana Marketing Corporation is and right there, it, it, well it also says Guyana shop and I'm going to take you in there and we're going to see, well I'm going to show you what's going on inside the Guyana shop. It's really nice in there because we have local products in there and you're going to like it and right now this is the market. I'm loving it because it's all fresh. There's fruits and vegetables and there are groceries and so people selling as well. But you can see how many wonderful stuff they have there. How the fruits look so lovely. The bananas and watermelons, oranges, pineapples, pears, lovely. So check out the sizes of those avocados. They are really big. I know not compared to the ones in Trinidad. I've seen the ones in Trinidad and they are huge. But those are some really uh, big avocados. So that's B. Soklal and Sun Fruit Stall and he has a lot of fruits going on there from watermelons to apples, pears, oranges, mangoes, bananas, sapodillas, pineapples, yeah, uh, grapes and so much more. But um, I forgot to mention earlier a place called Gainas. I know they've been there for years and it's right at the beginning when I was walking there from North Roadside on the right hand side. Gainas is still there. I forgot to show you guys that one yeah and these are plums that's plums right there i haven't had a plum in a long time and it was really nice seeing those again and cherries passion fruit and then they had lettuce and uh, some you know other greens going on there but you could see there are mostly fruits happening yeah Nice. These are so cute. Pineapple is one of the smaller. Yeah, they're so cute. So Border Market was originally built in 1880. They have some hazy information on Border Market, and that was the last I checked. That's what they had, and then it was reconstructed in 1902. That was to accommodate a growing number of vendors and the consumers. And as you can see, it's like a drive through market. I think Border Market is the only drive through market they have. But people actually drive and stop and buy right there. Well, I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just saying that's what they do. And it has been going on for a while and nobody checks on it. And then the traffic will build up in that area there at certain times of the day. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, but there are times when it does, and it can inconvenience people, you know? So check out this lady's seasonings. She has fine thyme, shallot, mardman pork, or better known as basil and uh, cucumbers and peppers and so on 
So when I was a little girl, my mom used to bring both me and my sister to border market or big market, better known as Starbrook Market, to get all her groceries and fruits and vegetables and so on. And we would come with her, of course. We were living in Georgetown then. So that was the better places to come and buy her stuff and, and cheaper prices as well. But now I shop at Lenora Market uh, on Saturdays because I live across the river and it's easier for me to get to the market there than to come all the way to Georgetown to buy and get back home. No. So here I am at the corners of Rob and Alexander Streets, Georgetown, and I'm waiting to get across to that yellow building. That is the Guyana Marketing Corporation. And downstairs, or should I say the bottom of it, is the Guyana shop. And I can't wait to show you what's happening inside there. But I think earlier in the video when I was telling you I'm going to reach there, I think I mentioned Rob and Regent Streets. So forgive me for that. That was a, a, a mistake. It's actually Rob and Alexander Streets. So this is the Guyana shop now and I'm going to get inside and you will see what's happening. So I'm in the Guyana shop and before I get started, I just want to give a shout out to the staff of the Guyana shop. Thank you so much again for the opportunity and you guys were great. And I hope you guys are enjoying the national holiday, which is today, Monday, the 1st of May, which is Labor Day in Guyana. And then um, I hope you guys enjoy Friday as well. That is another holiday in Guyana, which is arrival day. That's May 5th, arrival day. So enjoy as they come. So let me get started with this video and uh, tell you all about what's happening at the Guyana shop and what it's about. So the Guyana shop is home to more than 50 local manufacturers and their respective products. And the variety of products available is both extensive and diverse and they include sauces, seasonings, cash drip, uh, there's fruit punch, there is pie fillings, um, they have detergents and soaps and hair and body oils. There is even cassava bread, there's saltfish, there's shrimp, they have oh, different kinds of honeys, you're going to see that. And there's achar, there are also okay. these um, dry fruits it packets. They're like really good um, healthy snacks instead of snacking on chips. You can actually snack on those dry fruits. Uh, I'm going to show you those packets as well. And then they have planting chips and tamarind ball and well, remember it's everything local. What we offer as in we the Guyanese, we Guyana stuff. And then they have lots of spices, there's coconut water, there are um, all different kinds of oils as well for your body and so on. And there's ground coffees and wines. And when I say wines, there's my friend wine in there, I saw GT wine. So I'm shouting out to Abigail John. Hi Abigail. She actually that's her brand, GT wine. And she makes it right here. It's all happening right here in Guyana. So I'm going to go through the aisles and you're going to see what they are offering. Those there are supposed to be bitters or should I say like barks of different kind of woods and stuff. And they can actually brew it, make uh, tea and bitters. And my friend mentioned she puts that in her wine. She, the GT wine has those things in it as well. So it's really healthy. And then there are different kind of uh, nuts and there's actually dried blueberry i didn't even know that we actually had that dried blueberry that's part of the um, dried fruits the snack i was talking about so there she's showing me the other dried fruits there's dried kiwi dried strawberry dried apricots and so on i would seriously eat these and i think they would be more healthier than eating like lifesavers gummies or uh, skittles which i normally eat but i think those would be best and then we have the pomeroon coffee which oh, is, is the best coffee. coffee in town it's the best in guyana the pomeroon coffee and you can actually smell it right there from the pack it's amazing and there she's showing me some other stuff pineapple dried pineapple dried banana and dried papaya that is amazing 
I think I'm gonna be visiting there pretty soon again to get all these dried fruits so there I'm looking at some concentrates and that's the tamarind concentrate and then there is the sorrel one and these you just have to add water to break it down a bit and add ice and it's good to go and I also got myself uh, the lemongrass and ginger tea bags and those are amazing it tastes just like when you're boiling lemongrass in a pot on the stove and you put your ginger inside that is exactly how it tastes and that's some tamarind balls I'm showing you there and then they have some really amazing uh, candles I was amazed to see the different scents that they have there all kinds chocolate spice and so you can imagine the different uh, flavors they have I call them flavors because it's, it's like food and that's the lemongrass and ginger tea I'm talking about I got myself a box of those and it's really good I'm telling you all you need to do is brew it for like three minutes and add honey and you're good to go you don't even need to put milk in it some people actually put milk but those tea bags just require uh, honey and that's it and then these are split peas and black eye and lentils and so on and then there you're looking at some magnets uh, these are some other crafts that are locally made and paintings as well too and then we move over to the skin and hair care section there are lots of oils crab oil coconut oil and so on and that is for the skin and then they have the soaps as well there's actually lemongrass soap I actually picked it up to show you guys and uh, there are all kinds of different soaps there too that's the lemongrass I think I'm gonna get that one to try it too and um, they have uh, other oils and so above that so I saw my friends Lisa's products in there um, right in front there where you see that little green logo thing going on there right that's her stuff so I'm shouting out to Lisa salon and beauty supplies hi Lisa so there is some other coconut oil on their only coconuts and then they have and they just don't have the oil they have flour and chips and refined oils virgin oils and so on and there we're looking at some other spices and um, well seasonings and spices all together there and there's a little uh, medication section some mouthwash going on as well and then we move over to where they have the flower and I was amazed at these flowers they have they actually have edible flour and uh, sweet potato flour that's rice flour I'm showing you I know about the rice flour and the barley flour and so on but they actually have edo and sweet potato like I can even think about edo and sweet potato I know about the planted flour that has been around a while now like a very long time I think I grew up using planting flour <laughs> my mom used to make that big porridge and so out of that for me and then they have essence and uh, fruits oh there's cassava flour too I didn't even uh, remember that one there's sweet potato cassava edo like it's so amazing uh, cassava flour too and there's breadfruit flour as well so there you're looking at the champion chow mein and macaroni custard powder under the champion brand so the champion brand is Edward B.B. Harry and company limited and that's like I said our very own and he is also, or should I say they, are also responsible for the indie brand. And that's the indie brand I'm showing you there. And they come in turmeric and curry powder and masala and jiro and all these things. There's an individual who has her stuff on the shelves at the Guyana shop. And that's Sorogeny Flavor Pack. And she has masala and jira and so on too. There you're looking at uh, eagle white rice packet, then there's saltfish, that is banga saltfish, then there's trout saltfish, uh, salted fish, but we Guyanese say saltfish, and um, I think they had shark as well. And I'm looking at mangrel. oh mangrel, they actually make achar and so with mangrel, and they have that there as well. 
and they have some other curry powders and so on so right there is some more banga saltfish and the shark at the bottom of it and those are spices and and seasonings and so and that is peppies seasoning packs and there is the indie brand again with the curries and the masala and the jira okay, okay. Yeah. this one is from west Burbies. Um, honey is very okay depending on the color and the texture of honey mm -hmm. right it um it generates where the where the bees you know live live well, and where they pollinate okay. Yeah. okay so this one is from the mangrove area in Burbies. mangrove okay yeah uh -huh. So it's a bit, the color is different and it's a bit Darker. thin. Okay. It, because it, people would say it's watery, but it's not the texture, it's the quality, the ingredients that matters. Yeah. This one is also from the West Burbies. West Burbies, yeah. okay. This one here, uh huh. This one, they have their own, um, how do you say? They say a prairie. Mm hmm. Sherry packages. Mm hmm. This one is from the interior. Uh, okay. This one is very thick because of the area in it. It is very dusty, uh -huh. as you can see. So pollination and everything, the, the texture of the honey, okay. right? Mm -hmm. This one here, these here are from the Oriel. Oriel, as it yeah. says, right. Right. Okay, so, but it's very um, clear. Like, yeah, because they, it's they, more clearer than the others. You ever visited Oriel? No. <laughs> nice place. Okay. You don't see murky waters, clear waters. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, right. And these here. He repackages, but he's based in by Purico. Okay. Jets. He, yeah. yeah. He repackages. Richard. Okay. Richard honey. Uh huh. But his honey comes from Latin area. Latin. Okay. Great. Great. And I was amazed to see all these flowers. Edo flower. Yeah, edo, plantain, breadfruit, cassava. I'm really surprised. I didn't know we had all that flower going oh, on. Yeah. I know about plantain, of course, mm -hmm. and the cassava, plant, um, the rice flower, but like sweet potato, sweet potato flour, yeah. edo, um, but I know the barley flower as well, mm -hmm. oatmeal. Yeah. And, then and they actually had the porridge mix too. Yeah, coconut too. flour. Yes, I know the coconut mm -hmm. flour too. That's uh, and the shredded coconut. I didn't even see that one here. Oh, nice. Okay, great, great. And everything here is locally, locally made. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, we Thank have you. some uh -huh. some products. Yeah. As you would see here, is the repackaged products. Yeah. But because of the effort and the costs and the labor costs, the material costs, it's considered we. we we don't manufacture it in Guyana, so all those we package here, mm -hmm. we have it on this boat. Got it, I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And these are nuts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here is the cas rib from the Pomeroon. I think that would be the best one to use. But I haven't heard of coconut cast rib, but there it is on the shelf. Uh, I want. I wonder if it's actually going to give off that coconut taste. I don't know. And then the other brands of cast rib, those ones we usually use to make our pepper pots and so on. And they other they have other brands there. And back to the indie packs of uh, masala and jiro, curry powder and so on. And then over to our jams and jellies and guava cheese when last you guys had some guava cheese and there's cherry jam pineapple jam and so on those are my husband's favorites he loved those jams and then there's tandy's peanut butter so here i'm going to show you some wines that one up there is 592 wine and that's a jamun wine and this one at the bottom is gt wine auntie desma and gt wine is owned by abigail john and that's my friend actually abigail john we went to school together and that is her wine and she also has aj signs as her her other uh, brand as well and she has a lot of wines on the shelf uh reminiscence and i think that one just now was something innocence or something like that and anti-desma and so on 
so support local right that is the thing support local and there we're looking at some white sugar and our very own brown sugar that is the Marara gold sugar we're looking at there that is the one we use and um well the one i use is the brown sugar and we're looking at some mixed what is that that's another set of wine then we have banks that is some cream liqueurs and then there is cherry brandy uh, there's also Bra uh, banks brand and banks dih limited that is uh, our brand in guyana banks dih limited and moscato and so on that's what they produce and then there is another set of wines going on and then we move over to the uh, detergents and, and cleaning agents and then there's uh, soap powders and hand wash then there are a few tonics at the top there that's feral tonic and so on and uh, hand soaps and like the, yeah the soap powder is foam soap powder and that is our brand foam and i think i've covered the entire store so i forgot to show you the sauces and seasoning section and there you're looking at the green seasoning and they go well with fish and chicken and beef and so on other meats they go well with seasoning them they, they're perfect for marinating and then we have uh, barbecue sauces and soy sauces and they are uh, I think that was just that was a miracle seasoning they put it was like magic seasoning and then there are uh, hot sauces you know we like our pepper sauce and there's a dipping sauce I just saw there too so guys it was so much fun taking you to the Guyana shop under the Guyana Marketing Corporation I was very pleased to take you from shelf to shelf to show you what we actually make in Guyana, what is locally made in Guyana. And I'm pleading with you guys to support local because supporting local is actually helping our local producers and economy grow. And as you can see, we have some great stuff on the shelves and they're healthy stuff as well. And I know you guys will find that really really interesting so go check out the guyana shop it's really fun to actually try out our very own stuff that we have there like those dried fruits i was amazed at the dry fruits and the flowers the different flower kind of flowers go check it out it's right there they've made it so easy for us all we got to do is pick it up from the shelf and purchase it it's that simple so guys don't forget to subscribe like and share and Thank you so much for watching. Take care until then. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she owned.